VS Code's debug watch view lets you see the value of an expression in the program's current state. Here, for example, I have an express app written in JavaScript, and I'm just going to launch a debugger for it. When I make a request to the express app here, we hit this breakpoint, and we can see the values of all the variables in this program just by hovering over them, for example, or by using the debug console. So I can explore these a little further if I wanted to, and I can also explore all that information over here. What the watch expression uh, view over here lets you do, though, is actually have this information showing to you automatically. So let's say that I always wanted to see the value for hit count no matter when I'm paused in the program. I can just over here in the watch view hit this little plus icon and then enter an expression that will always be evaluated in uh, whenever the program is paused. So let's say hit count here. So we want to see the value of that variable in the current scope. And we now see that that value is 1. If I then continue here and then make another request, you'll see that we've hit the breakpoint again, and it evaluated hit count again, and now the value is 2, as you would expect. You can also evaluate more advanced things, so we can enter something like date.now, which is a dynamic expression, or something such as request.headers. So this will show all the headers. And you'll notice that for something like request headers here, this is actually an object, and you can further expand this object and explore it further, so we can get all the information for this object over here. You can even do things like copy the values here, so if I wanted to copy the address for or the host header, I can just right-click on it and say copy header, and then paste it somewhere else later. So the watch view is very useful if you ever want to see some information that's shown as you're stepping through a program and just have it always be visible. Maybe if you're tracking state changes, for example, it can be a really useful part of debugging a program.